Hi, this is Richard C. Oh, I'm a math tutor here at Wiseant, <clears throat> and I'm answering a question submitted by a student. Uh, this has to do with the definition of continuity. So I'm going to give you a poor man's definition, and then I'm going to give you a more, uh, we'll approach this problem in a more formal way. But the informal way is to imagine your drawing this graph and if you were drawing this graph with a pencil on a piece of paper if the pencil if you have to lift the pencil off the paper in order to draw the graph then you've reached a point of discontinuity and that's a, just a very good general rule of thumb but it's not good enough for a math teacher so we're just going to look at these but you can just imagine you know what i described with the pencil and you can see at negative eight there's an issue here and uh the the limit as x approaches negative eight exists uh it's it's negative six however uh so at this first point it's discon it's not continuous because the limit as x approaches negative 8 is equal to negative 6, which is not equal to f of negative 6, because f of, I'm sorry, f of negative 8, because f of negative 8, you can see when x is negative 8, y is negative 3. So this is the first point of discontinuity as we're moving from left to right. The limit as approaches <coughs> limit of f of x as x approaches negative eight is negative six, and that's not the same as f of negative eight, which is negative three. So that's the first one. We'll call that part A. And then part B would be this part in here. And the limit as x approaches negative 2 does not exist because the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the left that's equal to 3 and the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the right is equal to infinity. This is a vertical asymptote here. And so because the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit do not agree, the uh, function cannot be continuous because there is no two-sided limit, <clears throat> just these one-sided limits, and they don't agree. And then lastly, as x approaches 6, <clears throat> the limit as x approaches 6, this is a two-sided limit, Oh, excuse me. Uh, so from the x approaches 6 from the left, sorry, uh, we'll do the one-sided limit. As we approach 6 from the left, uh, the limit is 2, and that's not equal to the limit as we approach 6 from the right. As we approach 6 from the right, the limit is 5. They don't equal each other. So A and B are, A and C are the same reason. The limit does not exist at, the, at, the, at that point, either ne at negative 8. Uh, sorry. Whew. B and C are the same. The two-sided limit does not exist. A is a little bit different. A is... As we approach negative 8, we have a two-sided limit here, but the function value is not the same. 
So those are the formal reasons that you have to give in order to prove points of discontinuity. But I kind of like the poor man's way of doing it because it, uh, it kind of relieves any uh, uh, doubt that you might have about where you should be looking. Okay, so that's it for this one. I hope you found it useful. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.